per foot demonstration will give you a better feel of what pixels per foot means or delivers. So right now you're looking at 100 pixels per foot and you'll see here on the daytime side, this is a real time shot that we've done in our testing, looks quite good, right? You can clearly make out facial details, you can clearly make out the license plate. You'll notice on the right hand side that at night, this shows a general representation that at night, typically nighttime images, even for the same pixels per foot, are worse. It can be dramatically worse depending on light sensitivity, but generally you're going to see a trade off at night. Now when you look at pixels per foot, you'll need to get a better sense of the differences between, for instance, 100 pixels per foot and 10 pixels per foot. So you'll see at 10 pixels per foot, you can certainly make out an outline of a person. You wouldn't be able to read a license plate or you know, see any facial details, but at least in the day, you probably could get a sense of you know, who the person is, what they're wearing, etc. Now let's go to five pixels per foot. At five pixels per foot, right, it's even more challenging to see what's going on. You can make out the outline of the person, but it's a little bit hazier. Um, let's now switch to 50 pixels per foot. Now 50 pixels per foot, there is a debate within the industry of how many pixels per foot you need. Some say 40, some say 60, some say 80. Uh, you'll see our 50 pixels per foot, you can mostly make out the details of a face. It's certainly not perfect. It's not what people expect with, you know, HD portrait quality in this day and age. Um, you can make out the license plate as well, right? It's not super crisp, but you can definitely read the letters there. So those are some of the trade-offs. Let me show you now going to 70, right? At 70 pixels per foot, right, you notice it like it's just, it's, it's, a, it's sharper, right? Some of the details are a little bit more clear, uh, especially on the face, the eyes, the nose, the ears, etc. Uh, we could go to um, 80 pixels per foot. Again, it's even slightly, right? You can see it's slightly crisper, better, even more details of the eyes. Um, and let's go back down the other way. So let's say we're now at 30 pixels per foot, right? So now we're going back on the lower end and you'll see as you go down um, from 30, so let's do 50 again. So this is 50. Now this is 40. And you see it gets you know progressively worse. Now this is 30, getting worse further. Let's go down to 25, still worse right now. It's getting really hard to make out anything of a face or a license plate. We'll go down to 20, right? Even worse. And you see it step by step getting worse and worse as you get down by 15, right? A face, even any details are impossible. So we've shifted the view to show you what it looks like. Um, for the full body because you can still definitely make out full bodies at 15 pixels per foot but you can't really get much of a sense of finer details like facial features and license plates etc and again you can keep on going back down to 10 right even worse 5 right 3 just to give you the sense of these trade-offs so it's really important that when you're looking at pixels per foot that you understand and have a sense of what 100 pixels per foot looks like or 50 pixels per foot, or 20 pixels per foot, because these are the types of trade-offs um, that you're going to be dealing with when you're designing systems. Thank you.